On the front, you have a 20 pound propane tank. It is full and ready to go for you. Uh, directly in behind the propane is two deep cycle batteries. Again, all set and ready to go. Uh, winch switch is on the driver's side, so right here, so up and down for that. So we'll show you how that all works when we go to pack it up for you. Down here in the front corner, this is your uh, gray water drain, so anything that goes down the kitchen sink is going to come directly out of there. City water connection is right here. Uh, AC prep is exactly what it says it is, it's just prep for air conditioner. This here is where your hydro is going to plug in, uh, so you're simply just going to line up the L here, push the cord on. 25 feet of cord will be inside the trailer for you. Outside shower, hot and cold taps are there for you. Uh, fridge, so if you want to use your fridge on 12 volt, you just simply switch the red switch to the on position. Uh, hydro is 120, uh, this is the green switch here. Uh, so 120 it says up here in the top left and 12 volts in the top right. This is your temperature gauge here uh, for your, your electric and uh, 12 volt. To light it on propane, you're simply just going to turn the switch here to the high light position. You're going to press down on it and use the igniter and behind it to ignite it. You hold it down once it lights. You can verify that it's running uh, through this little peephole that's here. Hot water heater is a DSI, uh, so the switch for that is inside the trailer. Cable hook up on the back here, uh, so that's where you're going to hook cable TV. Uh, you do have four stabilizer jacks, there's one in each corner of the trailer, so there's a three quarter inch crank inside the trailer for you. Underneath the back bunk here, uh, this is where your uh, travel door stores, uh, so it just slides into the hinges here. It slides into the exact same style of hinges when you're going to put it on for travel. This track here, this is for your outside side table and your outside griddle. The propane for the griddle is going to come out of this compartment. So you just simply pull back, connect, and then rotate this up for the flow of gas. Two 110 plugs right here for you. Fresh water fill is right here, uh, so you just simply turn it off, put your hose in there, fill it all the way up. Uh, on the uh, driver's side and behind the, or in front of the tire is where the drain is located for you. Light switch for this guy is underneath. As soon as you go inside the trailer, there's a couple light switches down on the side here. Uh, so this one here turns on your LED light underneath the awning. The other switch is for all your roof lights. So to remove your camping door, uh, simply all you do is just undo your Velcro both sides. You're going to turn two tabs up here at the top. And then there's four tabs at the bottom that you're going to turn. And then grab a hold of the door at the center here. Pull back. All the way back just like so. There is a bracket that's up here at the top that you're just going to line up. Drop it into place just like so. And then you're going to lift up and dome up your two domes. Just like that. On the front here, so in the brown envelope, that is your owner's manual bag, so everything uh, for the literature is in there. This is your outside side table. Your three quarter inch crank handle is right there. You get a barbecue lifter. This here is your light for above your dinette. Uh, so you'll notice uh, your bunk light fans also plug in the same. Uh, so this guy here just simply plugs in just like that. Uh, and then there is an on off switch on it. Uh, so you do get one bunk light fan with the trailer. So that's what this guy is here. So you have two speeds of fan and uh, on off for your light. Two sets of trailer keys for you. Uh, so this black key here, the oval one, that is for your, uh, your slam locks at the front. Uh, this guy here, uh, the other black key is for your travel door. The gold colored key is for your camping door. And then the silver key is for your outside compartments. Black bag is your power cord. So again, that's 25 feet. Water filter and water fil filter wrench. Uh, now that filter there is located behind this uh, storage or uh, access compartment there. Two of the bunk uh, or the end uh, heated mattress cords for you. So they just simply plug in at the bed where the, the tags are. So same at both ends. And then in the box uh, is everything that you need for your griddle. Uh, the uh, GFI plug is right here. Uh, so that's your main GFI. So if your power doesn't work, that's where you're going to go to reset. 
This is your LP detector. Uh, so if you have a gas leak or carbon monoxide, that's going to alarm. Uh, this switch right here, that is for your water pump. The switch that's way over here, that is for your hot water heater. And then two USB ports are there as well. This here is your converter. So all your 110 breakers are on the left, all your 12 volt fuses are on the right. Three burner stove top here. Uh, so quite simple operation. Turn on whichever burner you wish. Use a barbecue lighter to ignite that up. On the uh, end of the cabinet here, kind of hard to see there, but that is your thermostat there. Uh, so for furnace, so all the way to the right, or all the way, sorry, all the way to the left is off. Turning over to the right would be turning it on. Uh, your cushions and everything like that all set up. So you do have uh, backers here. So these guys here to give you a little bit better back support. Just regular banquet style uh, table there. Smoke detector on the roof here, so 9 volt battery. I do remember to change that every season. Up in the top here, so this is your fantastic fan. So all you're going to do is unlock and then crank open the vent. Okay, what's well, unlocked? There we go. And then select your fan speed. This is drawing air out of the trailer. The couch here, so it does go out into a bed. Uh, there is a dome right here in the corner. So right here. This dome here, you just have to remove it. And then the whole thing just slides out like a drawer. As far as packing your trailer up, uh, basically nothing can go above your countertop uh, over here. Uh, so everything has to be packed in the down position uh, for that. So when you're packing up, you do want to flip this backrest here down just like so. And then the other cushion here, flip flops just like that. Your bunk ends, so you're just gonna unclip. And then remove your center bar, and the bar just lays across the bed. So these bottom cushions here just lay down into the bottom here. And then these guys here lay across the front there. Bed first. 